Okay, gang, top of the morning, man. You know, to the kings and queens out there, how y'all feeling? You know, hey, hit that like button, man. We getting right into this topic today, and the topic today for me is bullying. Because I see a lot of that going on out here, whether it's on the internet, social media, uh, with the kids, adults, at a job, wherever. You know, I'm seeing it happening. And, and me personally, I ain't the type of motherfucker who would sit for that. I can't stand a bully. I can't stand a bullying motherfucker. I really can't. I just can't stand a motherfucker who really think they finna just come and shove their way around. Dog, the world don't revolve around you. It don't. You know what I'm saying? You ain't a monster. Ain't nobody scared of you. You know? They ain't stop making guns when they made yours. You know? And that's how I was feeling when I was coming up. And right now, even to this day, when I see motherfuckers getting bullied and they go through shit, they go through gang, I still can't, you know, I can't fathom that. I can't. I just can't. To me, you know, a bully is a sucker. That's a form of a coward. That is, that's a form of a coward. That's a form of a, a nigga who was probably getting picked on in school. A nigga who probably can't handle their they battles. They can't fight their own battles. To me, that's a form of a motherfucker who, you know, got to go run to another motherfucker and, and gather a crowd or a group when they need help in a fight. A bullying ass nigga. Because usually them the only niggas that bully. You feel me? You never catch a motherfucker who on top of they shit, who could kick ass and take names at the same time and stand on what they stand on out here in the streets, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? A fly nigga <coughs> or a lady. <coughs> you never see them type of people bullying. Right? Yeah. It's always the motherfuckers who was getting picked with. Just because you was getting picked with, man, don't come back and take your motherfucking anger out on the next man. Please don't. That shit right there going to end. On my mama, like, dog, I remember, dog, coming up, any motherfucker on my block that was on that bullying shit at my school, anything, definitely, if they fucking around my crowd, oh, nigga, we bumping. Nigga, we, we bumping ASAP. Whatever y'all call it, thump, fight, you know what I'm saying, LNRs, left and rights, we was doing that. Believe you me. Me personally, I just could never stand a bully gang because that shit ain't beneficial at all. What is you getting? You know, you one or two things. You either gonna make a motherfucker wanna kill yourself, or you gonna make a motherfucker hop on your helmet. A motherfucker gonna hop on your helmet. And boy, I'm telling you, when niggas used to hop on niggas' helmets, niggas didn't want that. However, we brought it, niggas didn't want it. See, the thing is, I ain't never had, I ain't never went through that problem though. I, I wasn't getting bullied. I wasn't out there getting bullied, gang, but I had people that I knew, friends, I knew family members that was getting bullied, and that shit was not acceptable. Me and my crowd was trying to stand on shit. I'm talking about, nigga, we'll take you to Suplex City quick. Fuck all that shit, motherfucker, break your neck, nigga. Slam you on your head quick, you feel me? Just a second, gang. My bad, gang, that was the wife calling, man, and y'all already know how they get. When the wife call, got an answer. The car can't drop the ball at all, gang. But you know, anyway, man, back to what I was saying though, man. Bullying, bullying to me, man, that shit is out. Like, it's over. Some some niggas be with it, some, you know, don't. I just ain't the person that's with that. Never been, never will be. It'll never, you know, float my boat. There's a lot of people out here I know who um they they get a drive off that. They get a thrill off that bully and shit, you know? To me, that ain't that ain't how shit should go, gang. Cause you gotta remember one thing though, that same energy you pushing out here in the universe, you gonna most definitely get that back. Oh yeah. You gonna get that back. You better believe it. See, that's the problem now, though. A lot of motherfuckers out here, you know what I'm saying, gang, they don't believe in karma. Karma be real as hell. And it never misses a soul. It never misses so when it's meant for you, it's meant. Anyway, gang, back to what I'm saying, man. My bad for all the distractions. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that karma never misses so. I'm telling you. And that's the problem right now. You know, there's a lot of motherfuckers out here that forget that.
karma don't miss no motherfucking soul. When that shit come for you, my nigga, and it, and it, and it come intricate, my nigga, it come rough. And it come delicately. And you better pray to God you got him on your side when it do come, gang, because you know what I'm saying? Like, all that bullying shit only transpired to, you know, more bullying and different forms of bullying and different ways and methods of bullying. To the point, it just get outrageous. To the point you physically hurting motherfuckers, injuring people, possibly killing somebody, gang. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, y'all gotta stand up. Don't let a motherfucker push you down, hold you down, hold you back, none of that. Stand up, stand firm, and stand on everything. I mean that, my nigga, like, come on. Ain't nobody out here that's gonna pop it to you that be fucking with you, with you, like, literally, that you physically kicking it with, my nigga. They not telling you that, they telling you to roll up. If you don't smoke, they telling you to pull up. If you don't drink, they telling you to, come on, let's go to the movies or out to eat, some shit like that, spend your money up. They not telling you no shit that's beneficial. They not telling you no shit that could save your motherfucking soul. I'm telling you. Because at the end of the day, nigga, it's a spiritual battle. It is. It's a spiritual battle, gang. This shit don't get no deeper than that. See, that's one thing. When you in the hood and you living in the hood, gang, it's a whole bunch of distractions and house checks you gotta make, gang. You know what I'm saying? And this motherfucker big. You know what I'm saying? My crib big as hell, gang. I gotta run to the basement, way upstairs and on the first floor, to the garage, make sure the car good, all types of shit, gang. But you never know. But anyway, yeah. Back to the bullying shit, though. Niggas be killing me with that. Then you know what's crazier? Why some people be one justification when they people get popped off or not, you know what I'm saying, or get bodied. Why they want justification for him? He was a good person. He was this, that, and the other. He wasn't shit. He wasn't shit. That's a lie. It's a lie. He wasn't shit. Same motherfucker out there bullying on motherfuckers, taking shit, robbing motherfuckers. Come on, man. On what, though? They always want some type of justification, gang. Shit be crazy for their people when the motherfucker get the dropping and flopping like that. You know, like, I don't know. Don't take it personal, but a motherfucker be out there doing shit they shouldn't be. They really do. People be out there doing shit they shouldn't be, gang. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and if this video happened to have a lot of pauses in it, gang, forgive me. And I appreciate y'all for still rocking with me. That's a double salute. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that bullying shit, just end it. End it. Let a nigga live. Let a nigga do what they got to do, gang. Yo, to the next video, I am out.